hello guys so i've been getting a lot of response from my subscribers that they are having issue with the new ugo host platform so um in this video i'm, I'm going to explain everything about this new platform this new cpanel how it is and how to work your way through it so uh the first problem i notice you guys are having is creating subdomain add-on domain and stuff like that okay i'm going to walk you through that and i'm going to explain everything to you on this um, video so by the way first of all if you are new to my channel my name is victor and this is victory design please don't forget to hit the subscribe button or just go ahead and hit the subscribe button now because i have videos that will interest you when you are joining into web design and um, learning about these web hosting platforms so i have a playlist a complete playlist called ugo host you could go below and you could go to my playlist and then get started with any of those um will i say with, with any of those ugo host video of the old platform yeah the old cpanel so today i want to talk about the new cpanel as you can see this is the new cpanel this is how it looks and i notice some of you are having issue with it so the new cpanel <clears throat> If you scroll up, we're gonna see that the award. Or <laughs> I hate English, guys. <laughs> okay, the web application has been removed in Cpanel and WHM version 108, and blah 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 blah. Those are not important to me. There was one I was looking for. Um. Okay, the there was one I was looking for, but it's not here. It actually um, it was a message from Ghost saying they have actually updated their Cpanel. And by the way, this Cpanel is stronger than the old one, if you notice. So this one is better than the old one actually so you can actually stick with this but i think there's a way to actually um go back and i think downgrade to the old panel i have seen that before so you just have to check around but i want to explain the few things that you need to know in using this um Ugo host this new c panel first of all when you are creating a domain name or when you okay let me just go to my youtube i think i have one of those comments let me go to youtube and uh, show you i think i have one of those comments someone asks how does the ugo host platform stuff like that so just going to show you and then i'm going to respond to all the goals question i have on my uh, youtube channel so let me open the youtube channel okay um i couldn't like find a lot of the videos that contain um such information or a lot of these questions because i've responded to some but i noticed this one just now this one came in and said um Shoddy replied, V3 Desire, your videos are awesome. That update has made me confused. The add-on has moved. The add-on has been moved and I understand. <laughs> I understand the separate document route. I look forward to the new video. So this guy just made a complaint on the new platform. Like as you can see, another guy said, I can't find the add-on domain. So if other of my video, I actually experience i already saw this same comment so guys let me let's start from um adding a subdomain so in adding a subdomain all you just have to do is to come to domain click on domain once you click on domains now it's going to load up with some of the subdomain you have the old one now all you have to do is to click on create new now if you have no domain on your own it might not show like this now because we want to create a new domain this is what we do now if your website is just like my name tech.com so all you just have to enter is the subdomain name you want now subdomain name you want so for the subdomain now guys we are talking about the subdomain now so you don't get this confused when you want to create a subdomain you're going to enter the subdomain so for suppose i want to create the dashboard of your website i'm going to type in dashboard dot so guys i'm going to create this i'm going to enter this name and then once i enter this just like this i'm going to scroll downward and see let's see just use this 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 it's your port of choice so guys once you enter the domain name you want let me see okay this domain name already exists so let me just now, once you enter the subdomain name you want, you're going to scroll downward and click on create and submit. Sorry, submit, not submit and create another. So, you're going to enter submit. Now, once you enter submit, your domain, your subdomain has been created. It is that easy. I'm not creating any subdomain now, so that's why I don't want to go ahead with this process. But once you click on submit, your subdomain has been created, guys. Now, 
coming upward the um the next part is creating add-on domain now after you have linked your domain let's assume you are linking your domain okay i have no free part to show you a domain so let's assume you are linking your domain to this part let's assume you are linking a domain from namecheap to ugo host so after going to namecheap and typing your changing the dns the, the domain name server after changing the domain name server all you have to do is to come here type in the name so let's assume i'm, I'm um, changing to bad I don't even know what I'm spelling. So let's assume I'm changing to this. Now, after redirecting the DNS, after changing everything on my name chip dashboard, I will come here and type in the domain name and click on submit. Guys, that is everything you need to do, and it will be live. If I go to my dashboard, now this is not actually my website, this is a client's website, this is a professional business. But if I go to the website, I would have shown you, I would have shown you what um uh, how I did my own, like the the website I've been add, I have added to this account the same way I just explained to you guys. So it is that easy. It doesn't require a lot a lot of hard work. So that is that for that. Now if we go back to the C panel part. Um, I think I should check some of my videos also and see if I will see some other questions regarding this new C panel. Give me give me a minute, guys. Let me check my videos and answer all the questions you guys have regarding this new C panel. So guys thank you for giving me the minute so i went through all my comments and i noticed that the major comment i actually have was from email account um ssl and the um the last part is the domain so i just explained the part of the domain how you can create the soft domain and the other domain now on this part you have your email account this email account this is where you create emails but please you notice that if you um, do create a folder for your email account you notice that it start going to spam so i really have not found a solution to that so for those people asking about email account there i really have not found a solution to that now every other thing remains the same your file manager as some people always complain your file manager still remains the same it's found at your public underscore html then your um ssl you just come here encrypt your ssl the same way i did from the previous video how to uh, uh force ssl on google so that's just it so that's it for this video guys i think i'll be able to um, answer all the questions i have regarding this new c panel i don't know if you have any question that i have not answered i have not touched on this video just let me know in the comment section i will create another video for it so for now guys thanks to us thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you on my next video yes subscribe and i'll see you on my next video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you on my next video thanks for watching this tutorial guys have a wonderful and wonderful day see you on my next video bye for now